So in the previous lectures, we had learned how to do the plastic meshing by using auto mesh option. But the auto mesh option does not work properly always. So more than auto mesh option, we prefer the manual meshing of plastic component. So now let's going to start. You will need to go to the project file in the plastic folder. In the plastic folder, open up this bumper one file. So we have already seen this bumper file. Now in this bumper, until now we have done the auto mesh. Now we are going to start the manual meshing. Okay, so for this complete part, it is going to take some time. So this meshing will consist of multiple lectures, which will be in series. Okay, so now let's start the meshing. First of all, we need to make it transparent in visualization. So here go to transparent. Okay, so select this component. We need to set it transparent like this. If I select all these options, it will make complete transparent. And if I select this complete left. So I want to make it some middle so I can see the mesh in middle. Okay, so first let me start with the part here. Let's say, so if I take it from the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to start the mesh from let's say from this face. So in plastic meshing, what we do is we do a mesh onto the outer face and then we offset it to the other face. For example, let's say what I do, I will do a mesh here. So here I go to auto mesh and select by face by surface. Okay, element size is 10. I will make a new component here. Let's say this is shell and here element to current component. Select this face and do the mesh. Okay, so you will see element quality is some, I will click on return. Now we need to do the remesh in this region. So go to element, select this by face. Okay, so now do the remesh and click on return. Now once again, I can take out all these trias. So just select only these elements like this. Now you can see all the trias are removed. Similarly here, we can also reduce the number of trias. You can see opposite trias. Okay, select this region of element. And uh, okay, now return and here I, I will take out all these trias here. Okay, so you can see the mesh flow is not good here. You can see element are very smaller. So what I do, I will do the complete remeshing of here up to this element and click on smooth. Okay, now we need to do the meshing of this small region here. So here, let's say click on reducing the number of element. Okay, here. Now the mesh quality is much better. You can see we have improved the mesh flow here. Similarly, I will do some meshing onto this face. Okay, so go to this face and select this face. So here, what we can do is we can select the half. Okay, now first do the mesh here. We will change the mesh once again. Okay, so now go to element. Here select these element by one by one like this. We need to do the remesh. Okay, so now what I do, I will only select this edge. So what I can do is I can, so press F8 from here, go to this extract line, number of element three, select this edge. Middle click, similarly onto this edge, middle click onto this edge and this edge. Okay, so here press F3 and okay, when I do the F3 like this, you can see elements are not changing. Shift plus F2, first delete all the outside edge nodes. Okay, select this nodes outsider one by one and clear. Now press F3. So first like this element up to this node. Similarly, this element up to this node, click on yes. Similarly here. So with this, we will capture only this edge. Click on yes. 
okay later on we will change the number of element here click on yes once again similarly pick up this and this click on yes after that we can change number of element go to f12 and do the remesh here click on wireframe and let's say i will pick up this region only like this and remesh okay now do the remesh here like this so you can see how significantly we have improved the mesh flow here and similarly i can take out this trya outside so pick up this complete mesh like this now select this element make it 3 so trya is out so once again mesh this now go to this left portion and once again do the mesh so i will select this complete element here like this and you can see these are opposite trya so we can cancel them just do the remesh it will cancel out i can take out this trya here just do the mesh here take out this trya similarly if you see we can so we don't need to change this trya we can take this trya out to have the proper element flow like this so we can remesh it so we don't need to remove the trya here but we can remove these trias so remesh here and remove the trias so we have created good quality of mesh here okay so here you will here you will see the mesh flow is not proper so we can remesh it go to remesh and remesh it once again click on smooth okay so once the meshing of this part is done we can offset this mesh so to offset this mesh what first we have to do is we need to find out the thickness of this layer from here so click on solid now shift plus f7 let's say i will pick up this element duplicate duplicate two times go to the surface and select the opposite surface select this opposite surface project click on wireframe and click on wireframe from here press f4 select node 1 and node 2 you will see that thickness is 3.056 okay so if you go to the calculator that is 3.056 it is it should be divided by 2 because we are going to offset it at half distance so 1.528 so return and then go to shaded element okay so now i will go to this 2d go to element offset here go to shell offset because it is a shell element so here we need to select you will see cfd square etc square we will select square it will going to offset in perpendicular direction distance is 1.528 enter select this element so here go to element by face offset so we need to find out the positive direction so click on offset okay the positive is going upward so click on reject click on offset negative return so now you will see if i take a look at from here click on shaded view now you will see these elements are now at the mid section but here you can see some elements are going outside so shift plus f7 here select these nodes one by one and select the surface and select this face project them similarly so we cannot do anything for this element so okay pick up these nodes select the surface project similarly we can do this for all the nodes which are not projected on the surface so select these nodes select this face okay so now you can do this also this node pick up this face like this okay so once it is completed you can see we have created the mesh of this face after that we are going to do the meshing of this face as well so we are going to continue this in the next lecture i'm going to save this file so this is my bumper 11 file